There are rocks in my socks, said the youngest of the fox, by Patricia Thomas, illustrated by Mordecai Gerstein. There are rocks in my socks, said the ox and the fox. Bumpy o, lumpy o, clumpy o rocks, pinchy and squinchy. Whenever one walks, I feel very grumpy with rocks in my socks. See here, my dear steer, said the fox to the ox. Why don't you stop grumping and take out the rocks? I must say I've noticed the longer one talks, the less time one has for taking out rocks. But sir, there's no way said the ox and the fox to get rid of these rocks that are inside my socks with my shoes underneath my feet firmly on top I see no way at all of removing the rocks let me think said the fox to the ox with a wink there must be a way to get rocks out of socks Eureka I have it just do a flip flop put your legs in the air so your feet aren't on top of the rocks which will then slide right out of your socks it's a good thing I'm clever, said the fox to the ox. Yes, indeed, you are clever, said the ox and the fox. If I do a flip-flop so my feet aren't on top, then the rocks will come tumbling right out of my socks. Flip, silk, flop, flop. There's a tack in my back said the ox and the fox. A prickly o, tickly o, stickly o tack. I really don't need this particular tack. If I found it was missing, I'd not wish it back. Furthermore, those rocks haven't buzzed from my sock. Said the ox and the fox. Said the fox to the ox. There's no need to sigh. I'll have it all solved in the blink of an eye. Quick, flick your tail neath your back, and you'll knock aside quickly that prickly old tack. You're lucky I'm here, said the fox to the ox. Yes, you're a great help, said the ox to the fox. With a swish of my tail, I'll give that old tack a good whack. That will knock it from under my back. Swish, swish, one. There's a rail on my tail, said the ox and the fox. A naughty old cloddy old rotty old rail, and I'm sure if this rail were placed on a scale, the whole thing would weigh just as much as a whale. I venture to state that in my time one would hate the very great weight of a rail on one's tail, not to mention the tack that is still in my back and all of the rocks that are still in my socks. Said the ox to the fox. There, there, don't despair. Said the fox to the ox. For it's true, don't you see? I'm sure you'll agree. You've no more to fear as long as you've me. Your troubles are over, I swear it's true. Well, what else could possibly happen to you? Thank you, my friend, for your faith that my troubles will come to an end. Perhaps you are right to make light of my plight, but it seems that the end is not yet quite in sight. For here I remain with rocks in my socks and a tack in my back and a rail on my tail. And if that's not enough, I believe a large bee has decided to stop and rest on my knee. That makes me uneasy, in fact, somewhat queasy. For a large bee is a thing with a very large sting, said the fox to the ox. Yes, it does seem to me you'd be much better off without that large bee. However, because I'm so clever, I instantly see a way to remove that large bee from your knee. Just be quick. Kick your toes in the air towards your nose, which will shake your knee free of that unwelcome bee. Of course, said the ox. How stupid of me, it's remarkably easy to shake off a bee. Flick, kick, zap, wow.
said the ox to the fox. You've observed, I suppose, that I seem to have kicked myself hard in the nose. Meanwhile, the large bee, not choosing to flee, has been startled instead into stinging my knee, which is, I confess, quite unpleasant for me. What's more, with these rocks still stuck in my socks, and the tack in my back, and the rail on my tail, I do believe it is fair to state my situation is less than great. Skippity, hippity, pop, stop. My word, said the bird. My eyes must be blurred. I've never seen anything quite so absurd. A big grown-up ox with his back on a tack and a rail on his tail and a bee on his knee gets his own nose a whack. Please don't go, Mr. Fox. As for you, Mr. Ox, would you care to relate how you got in this state? It's a rather long story, said the ox to the bird. It is hard to explain. Everything that's occurred, I believe it began with my friend here, the fox, who's an expert at getting rocks out of one's socks, said the bird to the ox. I really must say you're going about it in a very strange way. Why not simply roll over, lift your back off that tack, then just slide your tail out from under the rail and straighten your knee, which so obviously will set the bee free. Mumble, tumble, roll. Bless my soul. Now, take off your shoes and take off your socks. Try wiggling your toes and dump out the rocks. Next, put back each sock and put back each shoe, which is all, Mr. Ox, that you needed to do. Is it true what I've heard? Said the ox to the bird. All I needed to do to get rid of these rocks was to take off my shoes and to empty my sock? Of course, said the bird. Jiggle, wiggle, bump, 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 bump. I believe, said the ox, it might well be said that my friend, the fox, has rocks in his head.